Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is Thursday, June 25th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, finance, everything. And it is interesting times. So uh, for the last little while we've been doing this, the conversation has been quite lively at times, sometimes chill. Uh, differing opinions a lot of people sharing a lot of information and that's what we're here for okay aside from that let me give you my little intro um, if you want to follow this work I am on patreon patreon is a great way to support this project It's a great way to follow the work you can just follow you don't have to put in any funds if you don't have the means right now and you'll get updates as to what we're posting what we're sharing and if you do like what you see if you do like uh, the general thesis theme of my work and if you do have the means in the future supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this work okay aside from that we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay so if you want to participate in these live streams live as they are happening Twitch is where you want to be at. Case man, how are you doing? Good evening, good evening. Been a while, I think. Solly Victus 10. Hey, Chicho, love you, bud. Thank you very much for the love. Thank you very much. Sol, Solin, Solin, appreciate it. Hey, Chicho VC, how are you doing, Elder God? How was your nap? Hello, all. Hey, Case man, good stream, good stream. Should be, should be okay and if you are on twitch uh by following by subscribing part, part, participating in the chat which is amazing is also a great way to support this project okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gaps minds vk and lo and all of those would be the appropriate websites backslash chicho or should be anyway as is our patreon page patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o Hex to Chicho, first stream for me. My name is Hunter. Hunter, welcome, welcome. Watch your YouTube videos a lot. Awesome. Glad to have you on our live stream and thank you for stepping over. And I know it's it, it is it is a lot. Seriously, I appreciate um, that people have come here through YouTube and other platforms to follow the live streams. Um, and I realize that's more burden on people instead of just having one centralized location to go to 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 participate to enjoy the content and stuff but it had to be done we had to decentralize ourselves away from specifically youtube where we have most of our content because of censorship because of the filters and the draconian technocratic control of information right uh, i realize we're on twitch it's also one of the main platforms where censorship is slowly starting to creep its way, but we'll adjust. As Bruce Lee would say, we'll flow like water, right? Uh, don't stand still, bend like the blades of grass and all that jazz that all the great philosophers in our human history have told us to do, right? Emily, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Major Shark, how are you doing? Chicho, hope you have been doing well. I have been uh, busy with work, so I've missed the last couple. So I'm glad I caught you tonight. Much love, much love, much love, Major Shark. Thank you very much for coming here. And I realize people are really busy. I'm coming out of my extremely busy period with the end of the school after this week. So I'm going to do a little adjustment and see where everything goes, right? Catholic traditionalist, good evening, good evening. Is your YouTube the same as your Twitch name? My YouTube name is Chicho Chicho. Two chichos. Chich. <laughs> Why did I do that? I think I had a chicho account back in 2005 or four that I, 2005 YouTube came live. I think I created it then, but I forgot my password. And that's the same reason we have chicho live right now. And I like chicho live on Twitch. I do. I did have a chicho uh, Twitch account, but I forgot the password and someone else is after it, I think, which doesn't make a difference to me. I think chicho live is a good, good way to go to it. So YouTube, if you do Chicho search on any uh, platform, any any search engine, you should be able to find me as well as 
Chicho Tacos in Texas, which one day I will go to and eat their tacos. <laughs> Cheryl, how are you doing? Be like water, my friend. Be like water, my friends. Good evening. Ab Abdullah, how are you doing? Good evening, man. Enjoying some Patreon and enjoying some Patreon and you're helping me relax. Awesome. Enjoying some Patreon. Hey Chicho Ding Bobber, how are you doing? Uh, as far as the rest of our introduction to this thing, I will be uploading the discussion we're having here. I am recording on a lapel mic going on to an external uh, recorder. We will be uploading this as a podcast on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com backslash Chicho, C H Y C H O. And if you are enjoying these audios, because I just got onto SoundCloud, I'm going to start loading it up okay this summer catching up on a lot of content and taking a lot of the audio that we have stuff that we have on youtube and putting it on pichud and soundcloud okay there's a transfer taking place right now oh patron not patreon me and my readings patron patron is very delicious actually patron is very delicious and of course we will be loading uh this video on bitchute technical difficulties permitting we'll try to make sure we cut it at not over two hours because bitchute might have a little bit of problem with over two hours videos uh and depending on where the discussion takes us we will either load this on youtube or not load this on youtube i'd prefer to load it on youtube personally but even that we're loading it on youtube youtube's algorithms are messing around on oh, the audio it doesn't <laughs> the algorithm the automation filters really don't know what to do with our with our um, current events live streams uh, certain days they're demonetized certain other days they're monetized <laughs> so, so we're giving youtube's algorithm censorship algorithm little hiccups which i'm really enjoying actually okay so we'll see where the discussion takes us if we're gonna upload this to youtube or not okay so i'm gonna take these down da, 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 da. Ch -ch. Doop, 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 doop. and catch up on the chat and see where the discussion takes us okay is chicho your real name it's my nickname it's a nickname i've had for i don't know coming on 25 years now at least right if not how did you come up with an, it's a nickname combination of two nicknames put together uh and i and i love both the nicknames as well the the original mashups where they came from Emily, I saw a video of a man being attacked by police dogs, and it makes me sad. We use animals as weapons. Yep, I agree with you, Emily. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? What's up? What's up? No, no, no. It's pronounced Patron, brother. Patron, Patron, Patron. Yeah, and it is. A, it is good tequila. I've had it uh, during my drinking days. Zerek, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho and Chad. Welcome, welcome to another live stream, brother bracy oh snap finally caught one of these live <laughs> nice case man i'm so confused by all the anti-mass rhetoric well the anti-mass rhetoric you can put full blame on fashi fossi however you pronounce his name when the pandemic originally hit the united states was coming you could see it coming a mile away right he came up and it was already in the united states he came up and said masks don't matter right the head of the person that's supposed to be managing this COVID thing he came out and told not only 330 million people except other than the infants and children that don't watch the news so let's say 250 million americans told them mass doesn't matter in the last week or a couple of weeks he came out and he said i lied ha <laughs> what do you do with that type of person All right putting tens of hundreds of millions of lives at risk because a lot of people from other countries would have listened to this guy right <laughs> elder god is not my real name <laughs> elder god says howdy chicho brando hits how are you doing brando hits is my real name haha <laughs> fun should i show you my snack we're gonna do a cooking stream of this check this out i did a test run of making dolmas right this is our own grape leaves from uh our patio okay and these guys here that you see these are oops where to go these guys here these are unripened grapes that we harvested from the grape leaves from the patio last year is it going to focus it's too small 
right? So on our unripened grapes from our patio, grape leaves from this season from our patio, and uh, a lot of the almost everything here is local. Okay, let me take a bite and show you the inside. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This was my first time outside of helping uh, my mom make dolmas. First time making it myself, and it's phenomenal. Okay. Take a look. Very good. It's got ground beef, lean ground beef, um, uh, red peppers, uh, yellow peppers, rice, uh, herbs, and stuff. I'll show you guys the recipe. Made a huge batch. I've been eating it for three days. Ding Bobby, did you hear about the First Nations chief in Canada who was beaten by police and had his charge uh, charges dropped? I wonder what George Floyd, if he would have had his charges dropped, if it would have been in the news at all. Yeah, I saw the video. The cop just tackled him. <laughs> Insanity. These are the people that the department is hiring. There's also a police officer in Canada which was caught red-handed she filed a report said nothing happened this person did this and then the video shows her stepping on a girl's head right crazy yeah dolmas i only had dolmas from a cancel oh i'll show you how to make your own it's um, amazing phenomenal and very um uh, you get you get a lot right and it's crazy healthy vc chicho have you been following the situation in bolivia the u.s supported military forced uh, morales out because he didn't have an election but the military hasn't hasn't held an election since the coup last year hypocrites yeah hypocrites vc yeah i'm surprised they've held on to power as long as they have i think the only reason they were able able to hold on to power the born again evangelical zionist christian military what do you call them juntas right the only reason they, they've been able to hold on to power is because of COVID, right i think they would have already been out and this is our lemon liqueur okay i'm going through the lemon liqueur to um because it's time to create a new lemon batch so we're using the lemons see these guys we're using the lemons when we don't want to just drink we just take the lemons put them in water so we're going through all the lemons so if you're making liqueur what you can do if you want a little bit of flavored water cold water in the summer it's fantastic just take some of the fruit and just put it in a glass and pour water on it and this is soda so or pour soda on it it's very little alcohol if any at all very very little alcohol and it's refreshing okay cheryl no fair as always, they look delicious. Yeah, very good, Cheryl. I was very pleased with these. Initially, the first time I ever make something, I'm sometimes, mm, could use a little bit of this, could use a little bit of this. This time, I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> like, very good. I have snacks this time. I'm on roasted nuts and beef jerky. Ooh, I like beef jerky. Good beef jerky is really good. And roasted nuts are amazing. Uh, uh, Abdullah, thoughts on gender neutral pronouns and Steven Peterson's past discrimination against homosexual individuals who wanted to be referred to using made up pronouns. Uh, look, if, if, if someone wants to be called whatever, call them that. Does it, does it matter? Is, is, is there skin off you, right? for me i don't care uh steven peterson i i don't know who steven peterson is i don't really get involved in this uh noise factor to a certain degree because to me a human being is a human being is a human being by the way you're talking to a guy who who for in for in comic book history i was the first person to publish the first superhero continuing series lgbtq uh series comic book series in the early 1990s that wasn't accepted by the main publisher okay like what do you want me to say i'm not going to get involved in noise factor abdullah seriously it's just to me if someone wants to be called whatever 
call them that. It doesn't matter. If you don't want to call them that, don't interact with them. Uh, that's People have the right to do whatever they want, right? Looks tremendous. The dolma is very good. Uh, fizzy. Fizzy. Fizzy G swag. Chicho, have you heard uh, of the how, how Strauss uh, generalization, uh, generational theory, and how he theorized in 1980s that 2020 was going to be the year of crisis and the fourth turning? Apparently, um, William Barr is a big proponent of this theory. If so, what do you think? I don't know this. Uh, Strauss, I know, but I think that's just through realm of mathematics and physics. Uh, the name is familiar. Um, post it on our fizzy. Post it on our Discord, and I'll take a look at it. Sounds interesting. Sounds cool. Yeah, really, it does. And William Barr is whatever, right? The Korean group BTS had donated money to Yemen. I heard. Possibly Korea, Korean group BTS. I don't know BTS. Uh, that area, Middle East, is. We ain't done yet, by the way, gang. Just, just to, just to clarify where I stand on a lot of these individual events that are happening. The big picture, we're in the quiet before the storm really hits. Right? This is the quiet before the storm really rolls out, and the storm's gonna look different in different parts of the world. Okay. Middle East. There's serious plays in the middle east there's serious plays in north africa there's serious plays taking place in uh sub-saharan africa latin america central america or south america central america united states canada europe obviously right asia there's huge stuff taking place right so all of these little things are all connected right everything's connected what's it all connecting to my take we're gonna see some chaos come our way right on multiple fronts right on multiple fronts and i know the question is coming by the way and have mentioned this before uh when the i'm just gonna deal with this right away it's, uh, because i'm pretty sure it will be some point people are asking um regarding the stock market wall street when it was when the market was going up from like twenty four thousand to twenty nine thousand, i said i'd be 100 percent puts right and the market dropped to around eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand. i said i would have covered most of my puts right covered most of my puts and waited for the next bounce right now i would be a hundred percent puts again i would have been a hundred percent puts whenever when it sort of basically tapped out right the double double top right it could go higher but i would have thrown some money into 100 percent puts because i think we're gonna break the previous low okay heard of jurgen klopp winning the title no idea who jorgen clock is chicho off topic but have you tried the cucumber liqueur um with the sugar added not with the sugar added i tried the other one without the sugar added mm, i didn't like it too much so i'm letting them sit the cucumbers have turned pale so they don't look very delicious <laughs> but i will try them in the next uh now that the weather is getting hotter i will be trying them i'll let you guys know i'll let you guys know and what i'm gonna do is uh, we'll definitely do another liqueur video probably within the next month uh, and I'm not going to record it I'm just going to live stream everything for a while my com main comp editing computer is having major hiccups so I might not be able to create any edited videos for a while okay blackberries raspberries gooseberries and 90% dark chocolate here Oof, very delicious gooseberries are amazing raspberries blackberries 90% dark chocolate that sounds a phenomenal Catholic traditionalist nice snacks I hope everybody's having phenomenal snacks by the way gang Brando hits I watched your last video about Obama funny enough I um, bought old Anthony Burdain's Burdain parts unknown and found obama and the vietnam hanoi episode also i am uh, mixed about the election here in the u.s donald trump versus biden i can't trust the media i wouldn't trust the media either and i don't trust either trump or biden All right ding bobber chicho do you know that according to the ethiopian calendar which is what the mayan calendar would have been uh based off of this year is actually 2012 looks like the mayans were right is this year 2012 looks like terence mckenna was right as well all right we'll see we'll see 
it, I, a lot of these prophecies, they try to pick specific dates. Um, the closest person that I've seen recently to pick specific dates is um, Martin Armstrong. Martin Armstrong economics. Now, I don't agree with everything he has to say, not by a long shot. He, uh, but his he's running an algorithm called Socrates, which is uh, I don't don't I don't have the software loaded. I haven't bought it or anything. I just follow his blog. I just find it interesting, right? But according to some of the predictions, and I've been following his work for a few years, right? So it's not that something's happening now and it comes out and I'm reading it. He's saying, "Oh, I said it in the past." He's he said it in the past. I've read it. So he he writes in his blog certain things that are happening that are about to happen and they happen. So I, I'm very curious about his algorithm. And if he's able to create this algorithm, just imagine what other machine learning learning algorithms there are out there and how much data they are collecting. Now I don't think a lot of the technocrats have the brain power or the unbiased nature to program something that is going to give them ac as accurate results as Martin Armstrong. I think Martin Armstrong's program is very well uh, probably written, right? Uh, so it's interesting. But if it's 2012, hold on, game. We're in for a ride and a half, right? The awakening has already occurred, right? Brando hits also Nightbot. Uh, are you AI? <laughs> Why would the Mayan calendar have been based off of the Ethiopian calendar? That makes so no sense. I don't know. That's something Dingbobber would say, right? I mean, that's a good question, Dingbobber. Why is the Mayan calendar based off the Ethiopian calendar? Uh, aside from most likely main origin of humanity being Africa, right? So if that information, which it could have traveled all the way to the Americas, then we would have seen that, especially considering there's a lot of structures and a lot of mathematics and a lot of things that are similar between the different empires in history throughout human civilizations right so there's there was definitely a link between all of them what that link was is we're not sure maybe they all had the same origin and there were tribes maybe there were 12 tribes right different tribes that separated right and went to different parts of the world and that core knowledge still remained with them and core knowledge would have based would have been based on mathematics that would have been the core knowledge of all the different tribes if there was a single origin that would have taken that information with them right and any dates would have been based on those kinds of things right evening gang twitching jason how are you doing i'm dead tired so i just wanted to say hello real quick before i go and say sweet dreams brother sweet dreams this will be on BitChute, and we'll try to get it on YouTube. I'll, I'll butt my tongue. <laughs> Use the Kurgan method to avoid conversation with people. Pa, 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 pa. I'm a gooner. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, gang, just to make sure I'm staying up uh, uh, with chat. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. Uh, Fizzy. I dropped two links to the House Strauss theory in the politics channel on Discord. Awesome. Thank you, brother or sister, of course. Basically, every time the last generation that remembers the previous crisis or awakening, as Strauss calls it, dies out. So to us, the GI generation is finally gone. The next awakening happens crisis and the system gets torn down for a new uh, societal direction to uh, take hold very interesting that's why i've read it i'm i'm pretty sure i've read this by the way fizzy that it's really based on memory lapse and generational information not transferring over right which is one recommendation i could give you if you're going to read one long piece to understand our place in history from world war ii or pre-world war ii for the last hundred years if you want to read one written article okay that shares tremendous amount of information read what putin wrote okay i'm halfway through it and every it's like six pages on the on the site that i'm looking at i'm pretty sure you could find it on one page but i'm breaking it down to pages you could spend a month going through 
the information that Putin's given you on one page and he's laying out how the world has come to be okay from that moment on okay spider-man thank you very much for the subscription thanks thanks the pride there we go we sent the twitch popped out something so i did a little thanks things hex nito thank you very much for the sub by the way gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows i do appreciate them okay if i don't recognize them right away uh maybe i'm in the middle of a something reading something i it just uh, trying to focus on the chat okay so i do appreciate the support very much what's your favorite sport chicho are you into ufc and do you like astronomy um i my favorite sport the sport i played the most is soccer by a long shot right i formed when i came out i formed three teams formed a club when i was in my late teens and put three teams together registered them uh, i coached i played uh, i've been to the world cup uh, so favorite sporting event i like i love soccer um ufc yeah i've watched uh, ufc a lot um i i go through I, I like sports man i like being active right i don't watch too much anymore i really don't just because it's totally corporate controlled right ding bobber i came without my guns loaded to be honest uh i got that info through sketchy sources did you get it through sketchy sources okay you'll have limited time to earn exclusive wow what is this stuff popping there's some stuff popping up on chat sub gifted or used bits to get oh my god okay i'm gonna avoid all the pop-ups on the chat this is something new on twitch i guess shout out to anyone in the uk up so late yeah yeah thank you very much for staying up late gang in uk europe and anywhere else by the way i'm scrolling now to see what's around uh, if there's anything zare how you doing welcome welcome Hey, but that's a cool uh, rhino, pride rhino. Okay, sweet. I'm on the bottom. Nice. Please say football. <laughs> football. I say soccer because I'm here now, Elder God, right? I came here. I kept on referring to it football. And people didn't like it, right? When I came here, soccer or football wasn't a huge part here, right? And then slowly it's grown. nice that's a that's a nice drink soda and lemon liqueur with lemons in there right it's actually not a speech uh fizz uh, fizzy it's um uh, what do you call it uh amigo thank you very much for the sub it's an article that he wrote yippee it's an article that he wrote i should have had the link handy it's on my other computer i'm reading it on the other computer uh so I don't have it here okay it's um if you do putin should i find it for you guys oh i've linked it on discord uh that was a, a few weeks ago so hold on let me open up this course while it's loading i'll scroll up and get the link for you okay it, it's an important article to read ridiculous ridiculously important anybody that has been watching corporate mainstream propaganda in the western world you need to read what putin has written okay and then try to understand what he's saying okay and by the way i'm only halfway through it i'm into page three of six pages right understand where he's going with this and from what i understand i've read some i've watched some analysis read some analysis of what he wrote okay man, thank you for the bits what he what he wrote right he is linking it up you have to appreciate that the western world leaders are lying through their teeth the corporations are propagating a lot of lies regarding world war ii russia have everything's come to be okay really appreciate this it's huge and that's the reason i'm saying we're going towards some serious conflict coming up okay reckner chicho uh where are you based i'm english and live in canada and now say soccer uh to <laughs> to feels bad man. it feels seriously it took me a while to transition from football to soccer it, it because i used to call it soccer right 
and I was learning English. So I went, why are you calling football sucker? Sucker. And then after a few months, I realized, oh, it's not sucker. It's soccer, right? And then soccer, oh, that's silly. Football. You play it with your foot, and it's football. And then they call it soccer. And then they called the one they throw football. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Seriously, it took me a long time to transition. But I have, finally have to do it. I live here. That's, the, that's what they say, right? <laughs> and I'm based in the uh, west coast of Canada, by the way. I don't see any pop up. I, I see it. It says sub gifts or use bits to get the next level. I don't know. Oh, I gotta stop clicking that. It's a hype train, level two. I don't know what that means. Soccer, ah. Huh? Are you from the US? Here in Europe, we call it football. In Italy, where I was born, we call it cal calcio. Calcio, really? Calcio. Calcio, calcio. Yeah, where I was, Iran, all, the whole world calls it football, right? Thank you, Base Chicho. Chicho, I've listened to you for a long time, and I'm very grateful for you. Amigo, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, where's the link? Oh, I gotta find the link. Hold on, I gotta find the link. Let me find the link for you guys, gang. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, it's the easier way I should have grabbed it earlier on uh, I need to, because it's ridiculously important I just haven't read the whole thing so I'm halfway through it and I'm just enjoying it uh, some of the stuff I'm reading again da -da 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 -da. and if you want to follow the politics stuff some of the core stuff that I'm reading I do share the information on our discord page oh come on how far was it I shared it a while ago <laughs> come on come on you gotta be here come on come on oh loading there's been a lot of sharing of information on discord so it's way up there i thought it was closer by trying to find it come on come on come on did i miss it no way it's got putin's face on it oh let me do a search I must have shared it. I swear I did. I might have scrolled too fast. The image didn't load. Okay, I'm going to find it for you guys. I know I missed it. Trap. Uh, Putin article. Uh. Na no, not National Geographic. Put an article. Uh, World War Two. National interest. There it is. This is it. Nice. And it's called Vladimir, Vladimir Putin. He wrote it. The real lessons of the 75th anniversary of World War Two. Read this gang. Important read. Read this article okay this is from someone who's only halfway through it uh, i consider this to be the most important article that i've that has come out aside from some of the stuff max blumenthal has put out max blumenthal has put out some amazing articles right the most important article uh, for a few years now okay compromise european football european football yeah but is, is it yeah i guess it is europe it came from england uh, football so yeah north americas are backwards it's weird certain things certain things forwards man every country every region have certain things backwards certain things forwards right if pro football is awkward as my son's league which only started back up two weeks ago it ought to be an interesting 60 game there should be cheryl we'll see if it lasts 60 games i'm in vancouver aha beautiful place wouldn't change it for the world i was living in vancouver i'm in victoria now i found it called the real lessons of the senate that, yeah that's the one okay i think the hype train choo 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 choos when people subscribe and give bits and further it gets on the track more weird twitch things happen ah okay thanks thing bobber it's okay we found it. oh you found it okay yeah unfortunately i can only post links so 
uh, Mike is on, I, I think, tried to post the link and it didn't work. Wow. Lots of people from West Coast of America in London, where I am uh, studying lots of terrible weather and so much traffic, still love great experience. So that's our choo choo train. We've got a high chest. Wait, I have read that. Yeah, I linked it up a while ago on our political Discord forum and it made the news, but it, only the alternative people were talking about it, right? The, I didn't hear any mainstream people and it didn't really penetrate it made a little blip and it disappeared I know from where I am anyway which is very unfortunate Ch Ch Chicho my friend in these crazy times it is good to see and hear your calm perspective Darth dart dart hookie thank you very much for the trust I guess I'll try to be sane about things I'll try to be sane my Google journey of Vancouver there's a there's Google Images has preserved one of the walls under Canby Street Bridge on the Vancouver side where there is a sort of a basketball course and skate stuff a little bit. Um, what do you call it? Uh, I did some mathematics there and Google Google uh, Maps preserved the images. Dolma. Our own harvested grape leaves. fantastic mm hmm Glenn Greenwald I like right I disagree uh, that Snowden's files they only released a small percentage right and what they ended up doing was um, test 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 uh oh did we lose our we lost our audio on the thing i wonder if this is too full no uh oh we might not be able to upload the audio of this to soundcloud i was hearing little beeps and i think this is maybe full is it full memory full oh unfortunate hmm, i can erase some stuff okay gang apologies i'm just gonna mess around with this a little bit but it's okay we just won't load this one to uh we won't be loading this one to the audio to this one i'm just turning these guys off okay sorry i should have checked this i checked other things i forgot i've been doing a lot of recording on this so i filled up the memory on my little recorder Uh, da, 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 da. yeah green green water i like but i disagree that they didn't they locked up the stone files right and i've been following glenn greenwald from sort of day one when he started doing reporting okay chicho if i may ask how did the people from people of vancouver find you for your interview ah you found that eh? um a friend when i was doing the mathematics um knew the artist and the artist had a little interview with me and she goes around and she's 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 a very kind person and stuff she goes around and talks to certain people in vancouver that she, and if she thinks they're doing something cool uh, she takes their pictures and does a little write-up and starts collecting collecting the information and she, she she had a little talk with me and checked out my stuff she goes oh my god this this guy's doing what so she found me way 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 back a few years ago right i'm currently studying dr travis sherman who was who was man that tried to install antenna across uh, swedish area to output radio signals that influence consumer decisions you think this happens without the uh, civilians knowing yeah yeah i think definitely corporations are doing experiments on their population that they are engaged with for sure without the population knowing all right 100 percent uh there's no doubt i'm on google street view journey of victoria <laughs> looks like a cool city i miss traveling yeah microsoft it's it's a nice chill place it's like vancouver was in the 1980s uh so i like that part of it catholic traditionist with all this talk about vancouver i have developed a craving for some dim sum mm. yeah i haven't had dim sum for a while 
restaurants closed and stuff, right? What role do you think, uh, Fizzy? What role do you think Russia has geopolitically in this coming post corona crisis world? People seem pretty split on whether Russia is a declining power, uh, still to GDP, only 8% of Americans and 12% of Chinese, uh, Chinese fall. Fall of oil will be their downfall or an ascending ties to me la uh, give major geopolitical strategical advantages can outmaneuver both eu and us and subvert democracies for pennies on the dollar i wouldn't say subvert democracies for pennies on the dollar i think a lot of countries powers are subverting democracies around the world and democracy really doesn't mean anything right now is the us a democracy is europe a democracy it doesn't really exist right now right as far as what russia is going russia is this ascending power russia has been ascending for the last 20 years since putin came into power right let's say in the last 15 years right because putin had to make sure he could stabilize right and it is ascending there's no doubt about it okay so russia is an ascending power it is not descending okay uh, as far as i know their national debt is zero don't they don't owe any money uh, they have their own currency they control their own currency they got resources up the yin yang they're the largest country in the world they have pipelines feeding europe energy they're feeding china energy uh they're the second largest nuclear power in the world they got an extremely powerful military and they are well trained military it is mathematically uh extremely one of the top mathematical countries in the world that means it can feed its technology right it's it's got uh the most sophisticated missile system in the world that blows away the american missile system or any other missile system out there in the world russia is an ascending power don't buy into the hype the bs the propaganda of the western world russia gate and all this crap russia is ascending there's no doubt about it chicho you could always use audacity's uh WhatsApp wasapi function and let this stream play and record the audio only to upload it that way audacities uh, while i'm doing the live stream i could record the audio only eh? i haven't tried that and right now my main computer is doing a little hiccups and this computer i've been maxing out so um Okay, I'll look into it. Uh, Ding Bubber, if you want, uh, link that up in our technology folder on Discord and I'll look into it. Okay. Uh, and But this thing I like, this recorder and lapel mic, uh, instead of going through the mic here that you see, this one gives a nice calm sound to things. I like the way it sounds. I heard something similar with microchips, small enough to pass through a needle. Yeah, Elder God, for sure. Uh, Julian Assange has talked about this. They're, they have... They have a robots really that are vapor based, right? They can spray, right? Yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. Expired sandwich, indeed. Fizzy. Yeah, that's a big part of why I say ascending. Just based upon their resources, population alone, they have a pretty high geopolitical power floor. Yeah, huge, huge, huge. And and countries trust them, right? They're not out to do scorched earth mentality russia has been a stabilizing force in the world for the last 20 years okay people really have to appreciate this some people may say oh no no they're bad 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 russia bad russia bad russia bad when you think russia bad relative to what the west has been doing uh, you, you might be a little confused right you might be a little confused russia prevent it prevented one of the greatest catastrophes to befall human human civilization by preventing western backed and saudi qatari backed isis from taking over syria right and parts of iraq right huge huge oh my god russia will always be around the u.s are on the decline for me yeah the u.s is on the decline there's no doubt about that either love pip sup chicho you silly dog <laughs> how are you doing 
start, Hookie. Chicho, do you think any of the former Soviet republics have a desire to join the old gang again? No, I don't think so. I wonder if uh, we will see them unite and form a new Soviet bloc minus the communism. I don't think so. Okay, uh, because people like their independence. They may form alliances with Russia, and many have, or many will, right? But I don't think they're all going to go under the same umbrella of same govern. And Russia has no desire to do this. Okay, that was in the past, right? I don't think Russia has any desire for imperial gains anymore. That different than. Uh, what the West is doing right now think Bobber Chicho um, Chicho no after the stream runs play the stream on your PC after it's over to get the audio from this uh, stream since your lapel maxed out oh okay yeah send me the link brother I'll uh, uh, I'll try to do it uh, yeah hopefully the yeah because taking taking this thing the video into Adobe on my editing computer is seriously giving it hiccups. It's not doing it well. Okay, it's maxing it out, and I don't want to do that right now. Expired sandwich, how are you doing? Can I ask what nationality you are? I like your accent. I'm West Coast Canadian, um, but Armenian ancestry, blood wise, and I would came I was born in Iran until uh, and I came to Canada when I was ten years old. I don't know what accent I have. Some people I think I have a Canadian accent personally. Uh, some people say they they could see the accent of Armenian. I'm like, dude, you got to be kidding me! Uh, you must be one of those. What do they call the wine tasting people that they can they can taste the walnuts and the smoked wood in there? I go, you must be one of the hardcore linguist people or whatever they're called, right? Absurdicon, how are you doing, Chicho? Where did you get the saying? Out of the yin, out the yin yang. I don't know. <laughs> Here in the Midwest, we say out the wazoo. I always thought your saying was interesting. Out the wazoo. Is that what you say in the Midwest? Cool. Out the wazoo. Out the yin, out the yin yang. I don't know. It just made it into my vocabulary. Like the word beautiful. <laughs> Ding bobber yin yang. I corrected the spelling on it. Oh, I got to correct the spelling on the ying where it says the ah nightbot says chicho has been caught saying up the yin yang because I, I thought that was what it was yin yang not yin yang but we changed the spelling yin yang ying did i spell it right or i had no idea being english ch -ch -ch. tragic bronson alert how are you doing hey everyone did i miss a lot um i, I don't know not much we're just chit chatting a little armenian that's so cool i'm egyptian personally and we have quite a few armenians in our church yeah for sure yeah i have a lot of armenian uh, egyptian friends i've gone to an egyptian wedding great food lots of dolma <laughs> lots of dolma lots of dolma egyptian and lebanese wedding lots of dolma beautiful beautiful grape leaves from our patio amigo knows what it's called it's called a lingual somalia lingual somalia i don't think i'm pronouncing that right but cool someone who can pick accents the food is amazing salute everyone fizzy uh, although i played devil devil chocolate against russia devils and devil chocolate devil's advocate <laughs> you know what i'm thinking about although to play devil's advocate against russia same gdp as italy navy is still outdated with their struggling to update a lot of soviet era tech is having a lot of demographic troubles and diminished influence in balkans and central asia due to china nato yeah i agree with the navy they need uh, they need to build up their navy all right because of the arctic 
Um, but uh, defense-wise, they're powerful as they're the most powerful defense. They have the most powerful defense system in the world because what you have to appreciate Russian history, right? Russia has been attacked multiple times throughout the centuries, right? Everyone attacks Russia, attack Russia, attack Russia. So Russians know how to defend themselves, right? That's why they've been able to maintain their integrity for so long, right? So even though their navy is this and whatnot, if the if the if the uh, time calls for it, they will rise up to the occasion. They have done so for centuries in the past, and they will continue to do so. I do not doubt it. Okay, um, GDP is irrelevant. Okay. GDP doesn't take into consideration many things. So in terms of economics, GDP is not the best measure of a health of a nation, not by a long shot, right? I'm very jealous right now, Dolmas. I thought you were in Canada with the French uh, and everything. No, I'm on the west coast of Canada. The French are east coast, central east coast. Devil's chocolate, I <laughs> know, devil's advocate. <laughs> Funny. I was listening to the story of the Henry earlier. Now I understand the first few lines of the U.S. anthem. Ah. Zubraski, Russians always good at defending motherland for sure. No doubt, no doubt. All right. Uh, Absurdicon, world history lesson one: Do not invade Russia in the winter. World history lesson one: Do not invade Russia ever, because it is so large. You will have to go through winter to be able to maintain control and russia winter will kill you right do not invade russia period okay and everybody knows this except the united states and the coalition of the willing or nato i guess when they invaded afghanistan don't f with afghanistan are you guys kidding me afghanistan destroys empires right guess what happened the american empire thought it was better than the rest of the empires and it got nuked right it got uh, obliterated in afghanistan how many trillions of dollars 18 20 years 19 19 years of nothing right trillions of dollars wasted with the uh, washington post leaks that came out right saying that every administration have come has come out and lied to the american people saying that we're winning the war and they all knew that they're losing the war right they gain nothing right well, fizzy that point about gdp is very true i mean look at the u.s yeah gdp is irrelevant gdp doesn't matter Ding bobber invading Russia in the winter is like Lannisters attacking Winterfell in winter, or like wielding uh, wieldings attacking Castle Black by climbing the wall. Funny, uh, dart hooky chicho. Andrew Yang talked about redefining our economy not by GDP but by wellness and health uh, outcome index. I like that idea for sure, for sure. But An Andrew Yang is a is a clown okay he he's saying some things which are legit he's also saying something some things which are basically centralized power the status quo continuing to be the status quo right like what he said about julian assange andrew yang is bought and paid for it a gazillion times over right so andrew yang is irrelevant absurdicon uh to piggyback of dark hooky what do you think of Andrew Yang? <laughs> he was very popular with the younger population here in the U.S. Yeah, he was popular with the younger population because the younger population doesn't know their history and doesn't know the rhetoric, right? Doesn't know how these these puppets are controlled, and you can tell a puppet. Uh, you, you can you 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 can find out who a puppet is by what they say, not about their their rhetoric, but about questions that are randomly asked them right so just look at what you know they said about uh, asked them about julian assange he said oh yeah julian assange already should become here he's he's, a, he's he, he did this he did this he did this you're like dude he's not even an american citizen dude he revealed crimes that your government committed war crimes 
and you want to punish the whistleblower the person who brought you the news not the war criminals you're just a puppet right no andrew yang is nobody right divide and conquer in the political realm when it comes to the united states right that's what they did just came back after walking dog and saw all the talk of vancouver apologies for not replying no worries no ubi no ubi ubi is centralized control the end of ubi is an enslavement of the society that goes under ubi right ubi is universal basic income the way the capitalists the way these people want to roll it out is is not what it seems it's not it's not what it seems it's something else okay it's something else be careful be careful with those who are really pushing ubi in a big way um they don't have the people's interest in mind uh dark cookie afghanistan stopped the alexander the great the u.s didn't stand the u.s didn't stand a chance and i can tell you when they invaded afghanistan right i was i was going to demonstrations there was like 30 of us back in 2001 right saying don't go to war in afghanistan don't go to war in afghanistan i can honestly tell you being from iran and having iranian friends and stuff the name of the game that anybody that any country that surrounds afghanistan right neighbors afghanistan right knows don't fuck with afghanistan don't they don't mess with afghanis they've been at war for 40 years since the mid 1970s late 1970s they've been at war you're gonna go mess around with a country where the whole country is has military training has been in a war state for 40 years 30 years you have no chance you're gonna take teenagers from the united states and canada and europe and stuff like this who just graduated high school right who have never lived on their own in the united states they haven't even been allowed to drink right and you're gonna put them in afghanistan in a country that has the highest number of guns as for last i checked highest number of weapons in the world per capita that have that has a markets where they refurbish their own homemade machine guns right they make their own guns like handmade guns you're gonna send teenagers that still watch cartoons to country to occupy it you and who are you doing this for you're doing this for wall street those people are fighting for their families for their land for their way of being they're fighting an occupying force what do this what did the military western military go into afghanistan for oh unical pipeline to control eurasia brzezinski's great uh uh chest uh what do you call it the grand chest board or whatever it's called right who who has the heart and soul who has skin in the game it's it annihilates empires annihilates them just take a look at where the united states was 20 years ago and the united united states was on top on top of everest with everybody else they're not even at base camp yet right top of the mountain top of the top top of the mountain nobody in sight and afghanistan brought it down right and bush's cheney's rumsfeld wolfowitz that whole neoconservative gang that went into war in iraq lied the american population to go and occupy another nation my what insanity right went from the greatest country in the world the, the place that everyone everybody wanted to be to now how long did it take it took 20 years to reach this point right it was boiling the frog where all your leaders including bush jr and that gang including obama and clinton and that gang including trump and his gang coming up and saying america is great we're the best nation we're rising when did it start when did it start who destroyed the american empire it was afghanistan 
right? What a disaster. Aside from that, how many hundreds of thousands of people did it murder? How many hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of people did it torture? How many millions of people did it displace? Devastating, devastating. The USA, you, us, the last chance for the NWA to survive, New World Order to survive. Yeah, but it's just warfare for the common person. It's on its last leg. Ding bobber. Have you heard of um, smart sidewalks? Google tried to implement them in Toronto, but people protested. Yeah. Yeah, I heard they wanted to build their own little autonomous Google zone, right? What a nightmare. What a nightmare. I saw Iraq once, but I never saw Afghanistan except on Rambo 3. The Afghans remind me of the desert uh, commando f uh, Fremen in Dune novels. 100%, right? 100%. And the spice is used for traveling. <clears throat> and Eurasia pipelines oil traveling and there is opium production there up the yin yang you right and when the taliban came into power they reduced opium production the last year they were there almost down to zero right when the u.s took over afghanistan opium production hit record high every year for the next 10 years or something record production why because all that money is being filtered through uh through black op military operations all around the world going through wall street right the American Wall Street economic system could not afford opium production to go down to zero, right? Because they use that to launder, they launder that money through Wall Street and they fund their black ops around the world, right? It's the same way they do with cocaine, right? The Afghans remind me, da -da -pa -pa -pa. money in war, make no, no richer, yeah? Lots of money. They got him off. Too much truth uh, being spread. I haven't put on the TV in three months. I know when people are lying uh, to me. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yeah. And it, uh, kicking, turning the TV off is difficult because it is an addiction. I turned it off back in, I think, 2002, 2003, 2004. I don't know. Early 2000s. I can't remember the exact date. They, they they took off one political discussion that I was watching at the time that was the only legitimate political discussion about what was going on. It was called Counterspin Canadian TV. As soon as they canceled that political talk show, and no way you could ever find that on Western television now, not in a million years, right? Because they were discussing things that you would find on alternative channels online, right? Independent creators online, right? So as soon as they cut that off, I turned off the boob tube. The greatest, one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. Highly recommend people do that. Okay. You get a little twitchy. You're curious as to what the talking heads are saying. Every now and then you turn it on, you go, oh my God. The longer you keep it off, the more traumatized you are. When you turn it on, you go, wow, you were watching that for how long? Oh my God. Mike Vism, Mike Vism, how are you doing? Honestly, have witnessed the downfall of America over the course of my lifetime. I'm 23. I feel so jaded about anything anymore. Uh, Mike, Vism, Mike Vism, it's better to be aware of what's happened than to live a illusion, delusional life, right? It's it's be, it's best not to be it, not to be. It's, it's good to be disillusioned, I guess. That's something that Gabo Mate said, right? It's good to be disillusioned. You don't want to live a, live an illusion. It's not real, right? There are people who still live in this illusion, which is unfortunate. <laughs> the U.S. are the Sardukar elite, uh, grown co complicit in their domination. I, I don't think they're the uh, Sardukar. I think they're the, what do you call it, the big fat, uh the harkonnen i think they're the harkonnen right i think uh the sardukar are the nwa really and they've grown they've grown uh, incompetent this is why dune is one of my favorite series along with the foundation trilogy nice yeah dune i love the foundation trilogy i've heard but i haven't read it three months dang good start brother yeah
uh, Absurdicon reminds me of Black Sabbath songs. Generals gather in their masses, just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction, sorcerers of death construction. In the fields, the bodies burn in as the war machine keeps on turning. I can't do Ozzy that well, but man, those lyrics are phenomenal, right? Turning off Twitch is difficult too. I really have to redo in one of these days yeah must read i have it right here read it read it you will not be disappointed hi disillusioned someone called me disillusioned very nice name <laughs> the film was grace i watched it as yeah the film was good too it got a lot of flack when it first came out but man the film was great <laughs> Uh, ding bobber advertisements 24-hour news and pop political talk shows literally uh, sound like demons screaming through tv speakers makes me understand why some schizophrenics think satan's talking to them through the television <laughs> because it probably is right and that's not a hyperbole we have we have gone lyric stream. We have gone lyric stream. We have gone lyric stream. I'm gonna bite into this so I show you the inside. Very delicious. It's so tangy. Chicho, do you have a a favorite historical figure? I really love Alexander the Great. So much mystery and influence in a short life. Historical figure. Mm. Favorite historical figure. I would have to think about it, man. Nothing pops into my mind right now like i love tesla like scientific figures and stuff like this but political figures i think putin is extremely important i think we're seeing some of the most important political figures of our time right now um i can't remember uh mossadegh was pretty important but that's very specific based in iran absurdicon i've had the first book of dune sitting on my nightstand for ages i put it off to re-read watchman which is even better the second time around nice i've only read read watchman once uh but i am looking forward to reading again but brother read dune well dune is a masterpiece masterpiece must read okay ding bobber chicho do you know how to tell when the harvest when to harvest peas they have some peas that seem ready to burst but they haven't been in the ground so long that it seems necessary a ding bobber when they're ready to burst you can crack one open and just pop it up and eat the peas and see what they taste like and peas should hard they shouldn't all be ready in one one go at the same time it should continue to give you over a few week period and peas grow crazy fast and you can eat the peas when they're just uh young as well by the way right you don't have to wait for them to get really big because you can eat the skin off of them too when they're when it's not as uh, uh fibrous right sego takomomi uh volvag volvagi says my favorite is uh, saigo takomomi he led the last samurai rebellion in japan cool that's very cool he along with arthur and Lancelot are my favorite English characters. Nice. Excalibur. Ah, there's a the bet going around. Reckner uh, to Absurdicon. I'll start doing tonight if you do. Awesome. I think you guys should. That sounds really interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, that's Dark 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 Dune book is so good. The first three anyway. I still have to read number two and three. I haven't read them. Oh, 
Oh, Absurdicon's got the saying you got yourself a deal. So we got two people planning on starting Dune tonight. Oh, I envy you guys, man. I wish I could read Dune for the first time again. Okay, really, that's how good Dune is. Just the delight of reading it, right? It, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. Nice, you're gonna harvest some peace tomorrow. Very good, very good, very good, very good. What else is going on, gang, in the world? We got numbers kicking up. We got uh, India, Pakistan going at it. We got total economic warfare going on all around the world against multiple nations. Uh, and in my opinion, we're about to see some serious turmoil in the economy. Oop, look at that. That's grapes harvested from our own patio. All right, fantastic. Dart hooky, Chicho, to sidetrack from serious conversations. Do you enjoy comic movies or just a comic and graphic novels? I enjoy movies as well for sure for sure like uh, I saw the movie history of violence before I read the uh, the comic book the graphic novel the movie is fantastic history of violence it's phenomenal all right really good movie very it's got a very weird tone to it right the comic book Wow that was very good so yeah i enjoy comic book movies for sure 100 percent. like uh snow piercer was a great movie uh snow piercer tv series is fantastic my dad had hiccups for like 12 hours today that's going on 12 hour hiccups hmm, that might not be good ding bobber well, check into it I, I, from what I understand if you get something like that for too long something's going on right uh, I do a search online trying to see if that might be a health hazard right haha -ha. that's to Volvo yeah basically but the events in that movie were exaggerated obviously and they changed his name I don't know what that's going on, but I like love this quote Elder God put out. Quote, tell me how he died, question mark. No, I'll tell you how he, how he lived. That's a great quote. I have no idea who that is, but I like it. Dart Hoki Chicho, does the India-China skirmishes and deaths make you worried? Those are two large countries to be fighting each other. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to go into a hot war where they're going to... There might be skirmishes happening. A little bit of conflict but it's more on the economic front right India's trying to side with the United States to try to economically strangle whole China and China's trying to bypass India right because China's uh, India's China's main rival and China's India's main rival right it's not Pakistan it's China right but India can't do anything to China on its own India is just joining the fray from the West trying to economically contain china is it going to work i doubt it but uh it's going to hurt china there's no doubt about that right but it will also hurt india and most countries can't divest completely from china anyway they still need their supplies right and china's happily supplying them at on the cheap cheap right but they are nuclear powers yeah and it is dangerous and aside from the economic aspect of it there's the resource wars going on one of the main resources being water right emily do you know what the percentage of people on unemployed in the us is i keep seeing different numbers everywhere but it's still high it's still high it's huge emily it's huge official numbers are supposed to be in the high teens right but unofficially i'm pretty sure it's in the mid 20s to high 20s right if not uh, low 30s right let's say 30 so officially it's a lot higher and a lot of those people aren't going to go back to work uh, or if they are they're going to go part-time right 
and they they've come out and said there isn't going to be another stimulus package so they're trying to do payroll tax cuts and stuff like this uh, it's a shit show in the u.s like the turmoil is just beginning okay i believe so anyway unless they totally change their tune and uh decide to do something else lord cutley chicho in arizona i went from knowing zero people personally with COVID to knowing a dozen within the last two weeks most of the most of the u.s seems to have collectively decided to just roll the dice yeah that's what it looks like all right and be careful gang you don't want to need medical attention when things are peaking and are kicking up right so things are kicking up so calm down relax take it easy don't put yourself and your family at risk okay absurdicon chicho the u.s is seeing heavy signs of voter suppression in multiple states it's scary kentucky closed almost all of his voting play yeah i saw some of that man some of the places they went from they had one voting place in like a population of like how many how many tens of thousands it's insane and that, the kicker is this is a democracy the united states keeps on saying that it wants to bring to the rest of the world <laughs> like <laughs> it's like well, how is that justified how does that work i don't get it dinger bobber i looked into it if it continues he's going to uh the emerge oh really okay yeah 12 hours seems a long time for hiccups uh ding bobber because i'm assuming that's affecting the heart it's got to be heart related to a certain degree no but again you're in the states i believe you don't want to go to a hospital right now uh, clinic me i don't know look into it brother don't mess around with uh, the health issues uh, right and i wish you guys well lord bucket bucket said hello hello how are you doing absurd on chicho trump seems to know he can't win the 2020 elections fairly um i don't know I, I disagree with that uh, absurd con and now there's massive amount of shady stuff happening from polls being closed to disinformation about vote by mail floating around i think both the democrats and the republicans they're doing everything behind the scenes to try to get the votes to go for them i think there is voter suppression voter control manipulation from the democrat side as well as the republican side does it really matter not really because they're the same party as far as i see it and if people weren't pissed that in broad daylight in front of the whole not only just the whole united states of america but the whole world the dnc the democratic party stole the election nomination from bernie sanders and bernie sanders like a nice little lap dog went woof woof i support my masters right if people people didn't realize that the u.s elections is complete scam sham what does it matter now it already occurred in 2016 in broad daylight as obvious as it would be right and people were defending it. no no it didn't happen, no no it was it was pure scam it was it was stolen right doesn't matter now between the biden and trump man they're both the same crap yeah Ch -ch -ch. ding bobber chicho in in posted a tutorial for recording the sound uh from this stream in the discord nice uh and i'm gonna go to bed peace peace bing bobber thank you very much for doing that and uh we'll see you tomorrow if you can make it on live stream i'm going to share some of my news sources right i live in arizona too is really bad here yeah i heard same with texas texas and florida yeah and the rest of the country is going to hit it too um miro how are you doing always looking forward to your streams chicho i always learn something new you make so much sense and connect the pieces of various things really appreciate your spending the knowledge I, I, i'm just sharing as much as i can now and i know that i'm wrong on certain things most likely and i must be right so if i'm wrong on anything please correct me right i might be over exuberant over exaggerating certain things it is what it is but it's a 
it's coming from a good place no one's paying me to do to do their bidding so i'm sharing my perspective as best as i can all right and that's the best i can do does the u.s even care about the virus anymore um not the powers that be no i agree with lord cuddly nope cheryl oh no real stimulus but we may get uh, cash to travel to other exotic u.s locales <laughs> all past things <laughs> the u.s is a beautiful country i've traveled much of it cheryl oh not much of it a lot of it uh, actually i've traveled a lot of the u.s uh, more than a lot of people i know and beautiful country man beautiful country same with canada lord cuddly well at least half don't Shh. lord bucket says because as a brit looks like the u.s gave up on it after the george floyd thing yeah it's there's a lot of things at play in in the u.s right now chase hudson 26 how are you doing i live in a city uh about fifty thousand people and there are ne nearly 20 new cases daily and my buddy that works at the hospital here was told the icu is almost full not good not good yeah i heard i heard that about certain hospitals too right the icu is full so they're they're doing overflow going into different uh floors and stuff and a lot of the nurses and staff there aren't trained in icu practices so it's it's not good right it's not good i think what we're seeing now is is uh, uh it's not good now i'm in canada oh i think bobby you're in canada sweet uh good <laughs> so uh by the way canada we're gonna get hit because the US is going to get hit but we're not going to get hit nearly as much as the US is going to get hit we're going to see an uptick right so if you're in, live in an area where there's a lot of population and stuff like this and uh, take care of your dad before uh, things get worse Emily the healthcare system is a joke in America I don't even go to the doctor when I'm sick unless it's really bad because of how much money it costs yeah Emily I feel you all right uh, I would be in the same situation if I lived in the United States. And a lot of people are in the same situation. Mikeism, Chicho. In the States, you don't want to go to the hospital ever. Even with insurance, you could get a bill for thousands of dollars. Pfft, brutal, brutal, right? Lord Buckethead, doing good currently, pulling an all nighter. Oh, all nighter. Working or studying? Or partying? Amigo definitely not the dems trying to encourage less voting uh with mitch mcconnell uh yeah i i don't think i i agree with you there i think the republicans are trying to reduce the number of people voting and the democrats are trying to kick it up they're both manipulation to a certain degree because they're trying to kick it up in weird ways the democrats right uh, from what i've seen i can't give you any specifics to tell you the truth right but there is voter manipulation i'll, I'll call it from all sides uh, and kicking up voting is not a bad thing but manipulating is bad is wrong right but i agree with with you on regarding the republicans they're really trying to suppress it because they, they know if they suppress it they'll have a higher percentage of winning on the other side if the democrats can manipulate it their way they'll have a higher probability of winning because the birds been chirping since 1 a.m oh the birds been chirping since 1 a.m you live north way way north right the birds here in my area start chirping around 3 30 3 30 right now the longest day was like a couple of days ago right two three days ago right so 3 30 4 o'clock the birds are chirping and i'm usually waking up with the birds chirping so where are you you're like north north right I think Trump is going to win sadly. Not that I like Biden, but yeah, I I think Trump's going to take it as well. To, uh, let me rephrase. I used to think Trump's going to take it, but we're about to see a serious wave of possibly COVID kicking up, right? So who knows? Absurdo Chicho, with regards to the virus, it's almost like they want the pandemic to last till November so that people can't vote. Traditionally, conservative states are doing 
fuck all about it the medical crisis in texas is nearly overloading the system yeah and i believe uh the those who are uh poor right impoverished or the the people who don't make as much money right or major working class of course is being hit harder right but i can tell you the democrats as well from what i see also want the cases to go up because that way they can point the finger at trump and say he was responsible but last i check obama was holding hands at a demonstration without a mask on right did you see that picture with thousands of people behind them holding hands with their family none of them were wearing masks and going to the demonstration that was sort of promoting people to go out and demonstrate wasn't it well that's without masks even isn't that a little psychopathic especially if you consider that there's a virus going around like people have been giving trump administration serious hardcore hard time for him not wearing a mask but obama wasn't wearing a mask his family wasn't wearing a mask his daughters were all smiling the everybody was doing their things right uh so i think the democrats want the numbers to go up too right for different reasons that's why i say the voting is manipulated from both sides they're both doing it they're both playing the american population they're both don't give a rat's ass about what happens to the american population right we all know that so you know it is what it is can you do comic books again i will be laugh out loud tony most definitely i will be we're doing a comic reading two days from now we're doing a comic book reading saturday morning 11 a.m my time pdt pst west coast of canada united states we're gonna read mad magazine comic book mad comic book number two from 1952 mad two we're reading on saturday at 11 a.m come on by should be a phenomenal read miro i i feel like bernie uh would have had no chance had uh, he been elected president either uh we would be going against all these powerful people um uh, it would almost impossible for them to go ahead and say you you go ahead and tax us uh and miro bernie was not the savior bernie was in support of removing the venezuelan government right bernie did russiagate 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 bernie is a puppet bernie is a bernie is like bernie is literally the lapdog that gave up gave up the right to be nominated as the democratic party in 2016 and supported the warmongering psychopath mass murderer hillary clinton and went around the united states giving rallies for her bernie 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 what bernie is bernie is crazy bernie is just a puppet bernie is bernie is not the answer the u.s has the same amount of corona death as the uk has deaths does it uk has cases oh cases yeah miro even if you're wrong you at least put a different perspective on things most of the info these days is mundane and repetitive you put a different taste on these subjects okay that's good i'm not uh maybe miro because i'm reading a lot of different so much different stuff right i read the whole spectrum i try to read the whole spectrum right the uk is about to spike massively though after this week did you see the scenes from the beach man it's a shit show for some reason people are associating common sense using common sense that hey maybe something's going on right maybe we shouldn't gamble with not only our lives but the lives of everyone else and they're associating suggestions uh, enforcement i didn't agree with tell you the truth but suggestions that hey keep a little physical distance to people invading their privacy meanwhile wikileaks releases vault 7 and there's barely a peep out of the same people that are saying we want our freedom right we you can't do this to us dude they've been doing it to you for years meanwhile this is the reason you hit the streets 
This is the reason you hit the street. And they've been doing it to you for years, right? They lied to you into Iraq. They, they lied to you into Afghanistan. They, they pulled the biggest scam in 2018. They followed it up with this one. And this is the reason you hit the streets? Damn. Played, 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 right? Zerek, as a 19 year old from the US, this is all pretty overwhelming. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> uh, Zerek, keep, don't be a reactionary, first of all, right? People, they're going to play with you, right? There's going to be noise fact. Oh, just, I'm appalled. You, what you have to appreciate is what you're seeing right now has been occurring for a very long time, right? But they're going to make it sound like this is something new. You should be appalled. You should do everything, everything that you can to support this cause. What you have to do is take a step back and say, you know what? This has been happening for a very long time. I'm going to be strategic about this, right? What you have to do is deprogram yourself, re-educate yourself. The reason that a lot of people are reactionaries is because they've gone through a centralized education system and everything's on the, on the clock right you have to make a decision now 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 you have to make it like constantly for 12 years of education bring 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 move 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 pop pop boom boom hand in your test do this do this do this listen they've been doing this to people for 12 years of their lives right so what happens is people learn a certain behavior that says do it now move along step away from that do critical thought, do critical analysis, think strategically, right? And take a look at the bigger picture, right? Get a higher perspective, right? Relax, breathe, connect the dots and appreciate that you coming out, you being 19 years old, you're out of high school one year or two years max, right? For right out of high school if you haven't done this yet everybody that's graduating high school in canada united states and i'm pretty sure it's going to be europe as well if you're graduating high school anyway in canada united states right for the next two to four years of your life you have to reprogram yourself you have to re-educate yourself you have to relearn things or learn things that you should have learned during those 12 years of centralized education that includes mathematics and learning how to read and write properly that involves reading books that involves doing mathematics look at statistics running your own business doing whatever you need to investing learn the core base that you haven't weren't taught in school right you you just came out of jail you just came out of programming right best advice i can give you is do not be a reactionary re-educate yourself spider-man do your work brother we'll hear everything seems to be going pretty good catholic traditionalist uh no light con confederate principal bus principal put on put not your confidence in uh princess that's a good quote put not your confidence in princess it is time to stop expecting real positive change from whoever gets elected as president look to create positive outcomes locally personally and immediately yeah agreed and it immediately doesn't mean you have to completely change your life around in one shot overnight it is impossible to do you will break things right you couldn't you can't go driving on a highway put the pedal to the metal and then slam on the brakes car is going to crash right slow down pump the brakes change one thing at a time once you feel like you've reached a point where you stabilized you see what's going on then you can change direction right so i don't think castle tradition says change everything now but change one thing every day one thing every week right learn how to grow food learn how to cook learn how to remove certain words certain behavior that you've been programmed to use right 
dark hooky chicho i have to go to bed thank you for the great conversation have a good night day evening you too you too dark dark hooky thank you for popping in thank you for popping in i saw somebody subscribe but i didn't see their name so thank you very much for the sub um, my apologies for not catching it i should have been here but it's not here I trust someone who is willing to admit they are wrong a thousand times more than someone who states they they know everything certainly yeah me too me too comic book stream when comic book stream two days from now 11 a.m my time west coast can the united states we read mad number two from 1952 i am so insanely looking forward to it <laughs> My hospital bill prior to insurance for kidney stones was $76,000. What? Lateralis. Hey, that's tool. Lateralis, 83. No, it could have been $76,000. Kidney stones, $76,000? That's insane. Absurdicon. Chicho, had a different U.S. president been in the office for the COVID-19 pandemic? Do you think they they still would have taken almost no action the dnc may be corrupted and evil but i still think they they'd have done better than trump's obvious lack of care absurdicon here's the thing right okay let's assume the dnc would have done better right but the dnc would have started a war with russia which trump didn't right so you can't take one the two-party system saying these guys would have done this better and these guys would have done this better right because for everything that they would have done better they would have done something worse than the other ones than the other party right like literally hillary clinton was saying that she was going to start a war with russia in syria and putin came out and said if you guys pull that this is war during the time putin said look you cannot do what you're saying that you want to do because this is going to be a war between the two of the largest nuclear powers in the world and what did hillary clinton want to do hillary clinton wanted to set up a no-fly zone over syria just check this out the united states wanted to set up a no-fly zone over another country the same way the united states gave away the same country syria's land to israel said yeah you can take it it's not theirs to give away but they tell israel they can take it the same way they installed a no-fly zone over libya take a look at what's going on in libya libya is a major hot spot right now by the way turkey's in there egypt's in there right there's the arab states there's turkey there's there's the europeans are in there russians in there the u.s just shadow all over the place right under obama right so the dnc would have whole, uh, done better with COVID, yeah but if they start a war with russia in 2016 i can guarantee you there'll be a hundred few hundred thousand people uh maybe millions of people dead by now right it's not a choice between trump uh, republicans or the democrats there is no choice and it's not a choice between lesser evil they're both evil okay birds are chirping laugh out tony by the way where are you if they're chirping at 1 a.m dude those birds are early risers uk is 5 a.m most time they chirp at 4 to 5 a.m this time the birds super active wow maybe they know maybe there's an earthquake coming is uk an earthquake zone not really i don't think so maybe well veggie 67 the government is turning the people into debt slaves via via medical system student loans yeah and that is the plan and that is both from both parties right so excited for comic books me too me too laugh out loud tony oh <laughs> veggie 67 thank you very much for the twitch prime sub but max don't protect you from COVID, but protect others from you elder god yes so they're being and in if you loop it it does protect you as well because it protects the spread it reduces the spread right 
A more safe and public situation. Finally, a scholar that thinks the same way I do. <laughs> Volvi Jesus. Why isn't Malcolm X as revered by social so society like um, Martin Luther King? Because Malcolm X was a, a bigger revolutionary than Martin Luther King, right? Malcolm X spoke more truth, in my opinion, than Martin Luther King, okay? Malcolm X didn't pussyfoot around and cut deals here and cut deals there. Malcolm X said, no, right? Malcolm X is the figure the poor black community needs right now. That's why. And they needed it then, right? In a simple way, I'm not a number. I'm a free man. Yeah. Absurdicon College. The time is in which you must break away from everything you were raised up, raised on, and become your own person. It is easier said than done. It is easier said than done. And I don't think it happens in college. I think it happens when you leave education systems you need to be in the workforce for a certain number of years to really appreciate what it means to be broken away from that system okay sam hit how are you doing hey chicho and fellow chichonians welcome welcome chicho why now they will come <laughs> which ones i forgot what i said elder god chicho i have an extremely important question that will shape my view of you Who's your favorite Spider-Man villain? Oh, the, you know what? I love uh, Hobgoblin, man. And of course, Carnage. Carnage, I think, is the bomb. I think the most first set of important villains that were introduced, and, and he held that title until Carnage, right? It was a Green Goblin, right? The Green Goblin was the most important Spider-Man villain. Really defined Spider-Man, in my opinion, right? Go to Carnage. Carnage is on the same level, in my opinion. Okay. Carnage was a step up from all the other villains, including step up from Venom, right? Venom was watered down. Carnage was not. And which one is yours, by the way, Spider-Man? I can't wait for the libraries to open. I need input. Ah, Elder God. There's only one uh, right answer to that vulture vulture. <laughs> vulture was fun thanks for the prime subscribe subscription indeed indeed ours finally did the chicho catholic traditions you are quite right that i am not advocating changing everything right this minute i'm a catholic traditionalist after all indeed indeed i don't think hillary would have done that i think it was all empty talk just to push that trump russia conspiracy well i don't want someone getting getting their hands on a nuke that says that they want to put it in in put a, put a no fly zone over a country that russia says you do that we're going to war right <laughs> walrus catholic traditionalist answering spider-man who's your favorite run? that is a good question got to be close race between frogman and walrus <laughs> what is the covid death count globally now uh it is near two or three, <laughs> as they said <laughs> funny absurdica chicho if you live in the u.s as a citizen with uh suffrage would you vote in presidential elections no I would have to take a look at what else is on the ballot, but I tell you the truth, if it wasn't extremely important, I wouldn't risk going to the ballot boxes to vote and stuff like this because we've seen how the voting is going in the United States right now. It's crazy, right? If they had a box that said none of the above, I would go vote none of the above, right? So it really depends on what's on the ballot box, right? What they what they're voting for because it's not just the president of the united states there's other stuff on there and there could be certain important stuff on there such as legalization right or decriminalization ending prohibition m m then m a m n d malcolm x told the blacks why they were uh, who they were and the blacks still didn't don't listen Ah, uh, many many people did not just the blacks the whites the browns many people did i take malcolm x's words to heart 
right? I've read his speeches. I've listened to Malcolm X talk, right? His lectures and some of the writings and stuff like this. I took what Malcolm X was speaking to heart. Malcolm X wasn't just speaking to blacks. Malcolm X was speaking to all oppressed peoples in the world, not just blacks, okay? As Malcolm X said, it was a Muhammad Ali or Malcolm X said, why should I go to war and fight in Vietnam? The Vietnamese have done nothing to me. It is the whites who enslave our our forefathers, not the Vietnamese, right? I think it was Malcolm X that said that. I'm paraphrasing, of course. I can't speak uh, uh, exactly. I don't remember quotes that well, right? Lord Cudley also assumes that science has to immediately be perfectly accurate right out the gates. Did listen to him though. That's why he was assassinated. He, they were listening to him. That's why he was assassinated. I may have fallen asleep, but I made the stream in the end. Coolio, how are you doing? Hobgoblin and Carnage. Man, I already had so much respect for you, and now it's triple. <laughs> you, you think those two? Which one's better, man? Hobgoblin and Carnage. Those are the two for me, man. man I'm, we're talking about Spider Man. And Daredevils is Kingpin. So a lot of people associate Kingpin to be Spider-Man's main enemy to a certain degree because Kingpin was introduced in Amazing Spider-Man 50, I believe, right? But Kingpin is really Daredevil's nemesis, right? Carnage is cool as hell because Marvel actually made his alter ego a murderer so too. So the guy was bloodlust through and through. Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. Imagine ever thinking Trump is Russian puppet. Imagine not knowing it. Imagine not knowing history. Unbelievable. And just imagine how many, how much of the propagandists were pushing this Russia day, Russia gate crap. Greetings, Doctor P. How are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. That's out of papa. What? Uh, Doctor P. Hey, Chicho. Maybe off topic. How many times have you been uh, in long term? relationships love the woman i've loved many women uh long term what's a long term uh, i'm in my longest term right now and it's long term by a long shot compared to everything else right i've and i've i've had relationships with women that weren't intimate but we've been friends for a number of decades right i've I have very i have a lot of very close female friends as well as male friends right i treat people equally like it's weird i don't know it, uh, like male and female i it's it's who they are their essence that matters not their gender not their color not their religion not their not their anything else right absurdicon chicho i meant i meant in any u.s presidential election not necessarily the 2021 also you can vote for whoever you want. We have write-ins. Thousands of uh, morons every election vote for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and that would be horrendous. Mickey Mouse would ju be just as bad as Hillary or Trump or Biden. right? Who? I would have voted for a Dennis Kucinich. I would have voted for Ron Paul. I would have voted for Jesse Ventura if he ran. I would have voted for Jill Stein. Right? Malcolm X also said to never trust the liberal media. Never, yeah, 100%, right? That's the issue. People refuse to vote for a third party because they have no chance. But if we ever want to get out of a two-party system, we need to stop spreading this message because it just helps Dems and Republicans keep things how they are. Agreed with you, Coolio, 100%. People need to stop voting for them. Or stop voting altogether. Just imagine if 90% of the United States didn't vote, the voting population didn't vote. There would be no mandate for any party in power to do anything, right? Because, and you have to follow that up. Let's assume only 10% of the population that's eligible to vote shows up to vote, right? Only 10%. If only 10% of the population shows up to vote, right? Then that party, when they want to go to war, the 90 percent that didn't show up to vote they have to hit the street general strike shut them down remove them have another election done right slowly what you'll see is people getting into office that really represent you 
right? Ali said that a Viet Cong never called me a nigger. Yeah, Malcolm X said the ballot box or the bullet. <laughs> He said the white liberal, liberal was like a fox in the woods that would try to trick you. Yeah, I've seen that actually when he says that. That interview is fantastic, right? What are your thoughts on the last uh, of us? To I don't know. I haven't played it. Malcolm X was assassinated because he left the nation of Islam and then started talking bad about them. Um, that's what we're told. I, I don't know. Who's control? Who was controlling the nation, nation of Islam? Uh, was the nation of Islam allowed to be there because it had enough power to be there? Or was the nation of Islam completely corrupt, like a lot of the other, uh, like Sharpton? Anybody believe that Sharpton Sharpton is represents the black community? Hell, do anybody think Obama represents the black community? Hell no. Who, who believes that? People who've been through. Our, centralized education system who didn't take the time to educate themselves right jack lest jack less core of law chicho hi sorry i'm so late no worries jack welcome to another live stream what time is it oh man we're almost at the end <gasps> what is a five percent again chicho it's like it was in february green goblin is probably one of my favorite just because he's spidey's number one yeah and he's psychotic <laughs> it's crazy crazy villains are the best villains aside from lex luthor lex luthor thanos thanos is crazy uh dark side uh master dark you want comic book villains harada master dark two villains that are not insane they have a vision and they want to bring it about pure villains that if you look at the world through their eyes they're your heroes right harada and master dark two of my favorite villains of all time without a doubt without a doubt gang i'm gonna scroll down uh Kulis says not voting is not a good option because less lesser vote turnout statistically leads to republic but Julio, just imagine if n only 10 percent of eligible voters voted the government that went into power they'd be pooping themselves if they thought they were going to do something that the majority of the population didn't agree with right they better okay it delegitimizes their power that's what it should be really does uh cheryl does anyone uh, live in a rank choice voting district i haven't given a serious thought until catching a recent hassan Mahajabi episode. Yeah, rank voting would be awesome. Proportional voting, rapid any voting other than first past the poll would be great. Almost any voting. Jack Chicho, last time I was here, you gave me advice regarding smoking cannabis with a can. Using an apple was much less harsh on my throat. Sorry for being off. Awesome. I'm glad, Jack. Yeah, a can would have been horrendous. Easy. Take it easy on the lungs. If you want to be there for a long time, take it easy on the lungs right i'm glad to hear that by the way jack i'm glad to hear that i'm scrolling all the way down gang because we're coming up to the end lord cuddly chicho i disagree if 90 percent of the population doesn't vote that means that they don't give a shit about pretending uh to please 90 percent of the population i uh, in the u.s uh, brother i'm assuming if 90 percent of the population didn't vote and they really didn't vote not that because they didn't give a shit but because they didn't like any of the options and then whoever was in power decided to start a war that 90 percent will rise up if they don't follow that up right then yeah you're right it means nothing okay rough hobo i'm super aware of red on voting systems i'm not a fan of ranked voting but i understand it's usually the best system for presidential dominated systems like the u.s for parliamentary systems mixed member proportional is my favorite cool yeah proportional representation and there's different types of those uh i know they try to pass it here in canada and bc anyway and it failed because people didn't want minorities to have a vote but minority has to have a vote if you don't give minority everyone in your in your 
in, in your society a voice you're going to create problems in the limit so let people have a voice jack chicho thank you very much i'm only 20 so got the long way uh, to go i hope long way to go i hope jack i long way to go i hope god canada chicho i'm sorry you have uh, such a pussy president ah oh, trudeau brutal but still better than harper coolio here's the thing the Demo democracy definitely goes beyond the ballot box but voting is also vital to a true democracy i propose chicho's idea but everyone shows up to vote none of the above on mass that way they are still utilizing their voices but using them to show that they dislike the system and their choices coolio and that would be the ultimate choice a box that says none of the above right then i believe you're going to get a higher turnout right and any democracy really should try to get as big a turnout as any so at that option none of the above I would go and vote none of the above when 90 percent of the population says none of the above the people in government have no mandate to really pass anything dramatic in the society right and there should be clauses in there if a, if a government gets into power with only 10 percent of the population eligible voters voting they have no right to uh, nominate a supreme court leader uh judge right they have no right to do these so i think there should be some kind of system put into place that a certain percentage of the population coming uh coming out to vote allows a government to do certain things in that society if a hundred percent of the population comes out to vote then they can do whatever the hell they want they could go to war right if only 40 percent of the population comes out to vote then they're not even allowed to start any wars right <laughs> like put in blockers in there that's why one of the reasons blockchain is so good right contracts are so good in that sense right elder god in any world event 60 percent of the people believe they know the truth but it's more like two percent <laughs> proportional is important to me uh, hobo says uh, it break dominant parties and forces to collaborate agreed that's what i like proportional sam hey, chicho just bought book of death today and some right nice book of death is fantastic man read book of death the four issues if you can get your hands on the geomancer legends of the geomancer read those four as well you can read them online for free by the way okay and read fall of bloodshot fall of harbinger fall of exo fall of ninjak all four are amazing fall of bloodshot will bring tears to your eyes fall of harbinger is epic there are two of the greatest comics i've ever read in my life really i hope you enjoy and rye is fantastic sci-fi fantastic i love rye one of the greatest characters ever really a phenomenal character one of the most unique brilliant characters ever created in comic books is rye no doubt no doubt we need to switch to majority vote instead of the winner take all pro yeah because kind of chicho up, up, up time how long almost two hours gang we gotta kill it we gotta kill it bro three things will happen if people don't vote or vote none of the above dictatorship abolish of the electoral college or the paid official will actually do something different for once people need to follow up a democracy is not just a voting ballot not even close that's the least you need to do you need to participate in the system wow wow sam hit i'm so tired my brain is sending strange messages to me coolio chicho uh that's elder god we we're about to you're about to go to sleep elder god oh i finished analyzing all the pluralist communist principles i think it is sound system commonwealth principles not communist pluralist commonwealth principles i think it is a sound system and has a real good chance of being the system that replaces capitalism if we can get it to catch on started listening to podcasts the site has to awesome oh wow 3 a.m okay gang we're gonna call the stream thank you for being here everyone thank you for the discussion my apologies i should have checked the recorder to be able to load this on soundcloud i'll try to look up the links on the tech folder to see what I can do to 
scrape off the sound on this and maybe bring it into the other and see where what we can do with it uh, we will be live streaming tomorrow I'm gonna share my news sources tomorrow okay people have been asking me what wh where am I going to get my news if you go to our discord page we're sharing a lot of info there not just me but everybody so you get a bigger perspective than what I'm taking a look at and some some of the things people are sharing they disagree with what I'm sharing and they question some of the sources that I'm sharing right and there's discussions taking place there so you can join our discord to have a sort of a balanced I guess well-rounded sources of information right not everything's there but it's not bad okay and tomorrow I'll share my sources of information more will I'll have my desktop screen and we'll create a I uploaded uh, brave browser so we're gonna use that to create and create new uh, bookmarks okay aside from that gang thanks for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits thank you for the discussions thank you for the conversation I am on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho if you want to follow this work support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project okay you don't have to um, contribute funds to follow this work i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons you can just follow see what we're uploading and whenever you have the means you can support this project with funds through patreon it's a fantastic way to support this project we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e and this is where everybody's talking we're discussing things and sharing as much information as we can and for those of you who subscribed followed thank you very much for the subscribe and the follows i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gas minds vk and lo all the links will be in the description of this video and we do share additional content there usually i put these live streams discussions on soundcloud as podcasts and i'll see what i can do to do that as well our recording system was sort of crapped out on this one my apologies i should have done a check uh check on the space that we have We've got a lot of audio on there and i will be uploading the stream to youtube and bitchu this goes to youtube as well we'll see how the algorithms handle it right and if you're on youtube you can uh, join membership through youtube as well if you want to support this project okay coolio thank you very much for the twitch prime sub take my wrist up for the for the road thank you very much coolio gang i hope you have amazing dreams if you're going to go to sleep and good morning to our friends in the uk and europe and other parts of the world i hope uh, the birds are singing for you and then they didn't wake you up too early anyway good night everyone and thanks for being here i'll see you guys tomorrow